Hi, I'm Rajesh and welcome to another edition of Vlogging with Rajesh Ji. How are you guys doing today? I hope all of you are doing great and I hope it continues that way. So you know who doesn't like to go on a vacation? Each one of us, we are dying to go on a vacation, especially after the pandemic wherein like people were held in houses for almost two years. The first thing which they did was revenge tourism. That means they went out for vacations, be it national or international, because they wanted to see the world one more time. But have you ever imagined a situation wherein you have just stepped out of your house or you're on a vacation and you figured it out that you have lost something very important or you haven't carried it from home itself. How would you feel at that moment of time? Devastated, especially when you can't get that thing at the place where you are. So today in this video, I am going to tell you how I pack my bags so that I don't leave things behind. If it's a planned trip, what we do, we first buy gifts for our relatives, friends, everybody, right? But what happens if we leave it behind? More than us, our relatives who have made that request will be dejected and they will think that, you know, we did it intentionally. Or just to appease them, we may have to buy something at the place where they are, which could be a little expensive or can hamper your budget. So, I have this habit of packing my bag three or four days before the travel and my friends, they make a fun of it. Reason being, they forget things and I very rarely forget things. So I, once I have taken my bag out, I'll put everything which is needed for me for that particular trip, my clothes, gifts which I have bought or anything else in that bag. And I keep that bag at a place from where I can see it on a daily basis. And as and when I remember things, I put it in that bag. So suppose I am out for some shopping, lunch or I am at with friends. And suddenly it strikes me, oh my God, I have not kept it in the bag. I make a note of it either on my phone or I write it down on a piece of paper. And the first thing which I do after coming back home is to put that thing in the bag. So this three days prior packing give me ample amount of time to pack my bag at ease rather than, you know, stuffing in things in hurry. And forgetting things and later on regretting oh shit I didn't carry it so a day before the travel I organize my bag because you know I have dumped everything in the bag and when I do it I do it at peace with a very calm mind so that you know I have a rough idea of the things which I'm carrying with me a day before the travel I start organizing my bag because you remember I have dumped everything in the bag the bag is not organized and when I'm in this process I do it when I'm at peace of my mind and very calmly so that, you know, I have a rough idea of the things which I'm carrying and where I have kept it. And this is my final packing. After this, I am not going to touch the bag. Once I have, you know, organized everything, it's set and done. And the rest, like to uh, the, on the day of the travel, if I have anything left, like very small things, I'll put it up. But I am not going to, you know, take up everything out of the bag and then reorganize it. So make it a point to Pack your bag once and for all and don't do it in hurry. Another most important thing which we all forget is our toiletries. So I have a separate bag for my toiletries which I have kept exclusively for travel. And on the day of the travel, once I have taken my shower, I'll put my toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, my shaving kit as well as my deos, creams, face wash, everything in that bag and I will put it in the luggage bag so that I don't forget it because you know once I'm back from office and all those things I may not think of the uh, you know taking these things along with me so after the shower this is the first thing which I do and one more thing I keep my toiletries back just at a place where I can see it and after every activity like after brushing my teeth brushes go inside after my shower my shampoo shower gel whatever it is put there so after everything like once I have worn a dress it's put in the luggage bag. Don't make it a mistake of keeping your toiletries bag out and then like, you know, you can, you can think I'll take it later on. Never do that. You will forget it. Despite taking all these precautions, once I have forgotten a face wash and a cream, but those things were easily available. So it didn't bother me much. 
nowadays laptop bags have become an integral part of our travel and we can't you know travel without our laptops so the first thing you need to put in your laptop bag is your laptop your adapter your mouse your bluetooth device or headset whatever and once you have put it in a zip please close it just assume you are working till the moment you are you know stepping out of the house keep all your accessories especially your laptop related and mobile related thing at one place don't pack them there once you have decided to shut down your work and you have to shut down your laptop slowly put everything in the bag or the pouch zip it this is because you are sure okay i have taken up everything and always make it a point to pack your bags completely dress yourself and sit back at home for 5 more minutes to relax to see whether you have forgotten anything or not and before you step out of the house please check whether all the windows are closed cupboards are locked switches are turned off and if in case you are traveling for more than a week make it a point to turn off the main switch i do it that way because you know we don't know if there is a short circuit or accidentally we have turned on a switch there is a short circuit and it will lead to a lot of issues for us but once you have turned off the main switch don't worry at all even if switches are turned on no issues for you so that's the tip which i follow if it's feasible for you please do that just before stepping out of the house i check my wallet for my cash credit card debit card ids like with my aadhar card pan card all these things because you know whenever we are traveling they may ask us to you know produce our id cards so we have to show it and another best way of you know saving your id cards is saving them in dg locker which is recognized by the government of india as well as you know people take it as a proof of validity but it has to be updated in the app you can't save it or store it in the hard drive once you have stepped out of your house lock the house don't put your keys hurry bari anywhere make it a point to keep your keys uh, either in your travel bag or in your laptop bag anywhere but you should remember where you have kept it what happens people usually put the key somewhere then they forget once they are back home they will you know search all the rows all the pouches of their luggage bag laptop bag but still they may not find the key but the key would be there somewhere hidden and in some cases people have also you know got the locks changed why make it a point to keep the keys you know safely in per- in one particular pouch or zip and you should always keep it in that particular zip so that you know accidentally or automatically you will put it in that zip and you don't have to remember every time oh my god where i have kept the keys next most important thing is please reach in advance to your airport railway station or bus station and please be mindful of the traffic in the city where you are so if you are in metro cities you know and if you are stepping out of your house at the peak hour traffic you may be delayed and there have been instances wherein people don't articulate this peak hour traffic they miss their flights and then they have only two options either to buy a new ticket if it is available or cancel the trip and new tickets are always expensive in case you found this video informative please like the video share it with your friends subscribe to my channel and most importantly share your thoughts in the comment section so until the next video bye bye take care and spread the power of positivity around you